hello, hello. This reading is for July 10th through the 16th, or I'm, wow, I'm sorry, August 10th through the 16th, okay? August 10th through the 16th of year 2021, because obviously I got lost somewhere. Okay, so I have a really hard time shuffling this big, huge deck. I mean, look, at it's like the size of my hands. So I've shuffled off camera. I'm gonna cut it a few times while we kind of figure out what the cards wanna do. Do they wanna do a three card? Do they wanna do a four card? Do they want a bonus? Whatever they're gonna do, okay? So last week was kind of a shitty reading. How did you guys feel about that? I mean, I really called you out. Well, the cards called you out. It was not me. How did you feel about that? How did that go? You wanna talk about it? You wanna leave me some comments about it? You know what, we're gonna pull one from each pile, okay? So here we've got this one. Here we've got this one. And here we've got this one, okay? So you guys know the rule. Pick a card, any card, of what's there on the desk, on the altar. Okay, I'm gonna pull them back down so you can see them. I'm gonna try to get it out of the sun glare. Okay, pick a card, any card. Ready? Let's go. I'm gonna read it backwards. We're gonna go that way instead of this way, okay? Because last week really sucked and we're gonna try to have some fun, all right? So if you picked this card, what did you pick? The Four of Cups. Okay, so here we've got this girl and she's in a farm, her backyard, I don't know. We've got beautiful blue sky. It's a nice sunny day, probably. We've got this nice tree that's providing shade. You could go sit in the tree, under the tree, or hell, climb the tree for all I care. Hang out there, be one with nature, be in tune. We've got all of this grass. It might be crops. I see lines that makes me think it's crops. So maybe she's growing strawberries there. That would be yummy. Uh, she's got all of this green right here where she's sitting. And then she's got one, two, three cups. They look like singing bowls to me, but she's got three of them there, right? And they're all empty. And she looks like she's got writer's block, doesn't she? She really looks like she's having a hard time. The problem is we've got divine inspiration. We've got spirit. We have the source, God, cosmos, whatever you want to believe, ancestors, is here with this bowl that's full. And it's just glowing, and it's beautiful, and it's brilliant. But for some reason, she doesn't want it. Do you see that? She's like totally turned around. So either she's not turning and looking because she's not connected enough to feel their presence, or she refuses that information. So if you picked this card, are you connected to the source? Are you connected to your spirits? Are you connected to your spirit guides? Are you connected to your ancestors? Are you connected to spirituality, the cosmos, the universe, manifestation, the law of attraction, all of this kind of stuff? Are you connected? So much so that if you're looking in the other direction, you can still feel their presence. You can still see all of what they're trying to give to you, all of the blessings, all of the abundance they're trying to give you. Can you do that? Are you connected enough? If not, and if you go, oh, Maria, I don't know, or hmm, I think so, then no, you're not. This card is saying, no, you're not. You need to start being connected. So how can you do that? Some meditation. I know you guys don't like it. I know you hate meditation, but really, honestly, that's how you would do it. Start meditating, start connecting. Go sit in that tree. If you don't have a tree, some other way that you can be in nature, okay? Next card new deck it's being complicated the sun okay so take a look at this one it's beautiful orange and gold and yellow and it's just so sunny and it's happy and she's saluting the sun and she might have been doing yoga but i'm thinking she just went out to play in the sunshine when was the last time you actually went out and just played like a little kid and saluted the sun and swirled and danced and her skirt. Can you just imagine her spinning in circles with that skirt flowing 
and she's got like some ribbon stuff here and her necklace is just floating as she's jumping around. When's the last time you did that? Wow, that long? Okay, so go do that. Here's the reason why. You see in the middle of the sun, she's got like a little white ray coming and hitting her in the forehead. She's connected now. She's connected to one solar energy, obviously, but to the source, to the warmth, to the security of everything, of the divine. So here we have, you're not connected to the divine. Here we have a way to get connected to the divine. Here we have, maybe you aren't connected to your spirits. Maybe you're not connected to your ancestors. Here we have a way for you to do it. I want you to go act like a child. Go to the park, go to the backyard, go wherever you want to go and just jump and spin and walk. And if you've got bad joints, well then don't jump, just walk. Lay down and make a grass angel or a dirt angel or a whatever angel or kind of do that salutation pose on the ground and just allow solar energy to come into you. allow universal energy to come into you. allow earth energy to go up into you. all of that kind of stuff so that way you can connect again okay here we have justice okay so this card I am seriously hearing two different shamanic things, okay? One, we're gonna put this to the side for a minute. There's this story and it floats around social media every now and again. It's something that I was taught actually by somebody and it says a person who was depressed went to a shaman because the therapist, the psychoanalyst, the doctor, all of these different medicine people could not help. So they went to the shaman and the shaman said, when was the last time you were in nature? When was the last time you laughed? When was the last time you sang? When was the last time you danced? Okay, there, connect. Now this one, justice, right? Another social media shamanic thing. There are two wolves within us. One is good, one is bad. How do I know which one is which? The one that you feed, right? Which one controls me? The one that you feed. We've got one lady, and we've got her again, right? We've got light, we've got dark, we have good, we have evil. I'm not really impressed with that, but let's go with it. We have sunny, we have night, do you see? We have the yin yang. Justice is justice. Now that story that I just said, like the two wolves, one is good, one is bad, which one becomes the one that's in control, the one that I feed, I hate that. The reason being is to be whole, to be that yin yang, to be balanced, you must feed the good and you must feed the bad. You have to be both. You've got dark within the light and you've got light within the dark, right? That is what the yin yang is. You've got masculine within the feminine and feminine within the masculine. It is completely balanced. To be just in any form, you must be completely balanced. You have to understand the dark aspects. You have to understand the negative aspects. You have to understand all of those things and be okay with them in order to understand the positive. Because if you're only positive all the damn time, what the hell is positive? You must have the negative. It's dead summer right now, right? Everyone's going, it's so hot. How do you know it's hot? If this was the temperature that it was all of the time, how do you know it's hot? It would be normal. We know that it's hot because of the cold that will come in the winter. So how do we know that the cold is cold? Because of the hot. We have to have one to understand the other. It's the same thing with positivity and negativity. You have to have one to understand the other. It's the same thing with night and day. You have to have one to understand the other. Could you imagine it being daytime all the damn time at never getting dark. People in Canada, Alaska, Northern places, I, I totally get you. I lived in Alaska for a little while in the summertime. I understand. It's not fun. It's not anything I would love to do on a regular basis, okay? So for justice, you have to understand both aspects. You have to feed both wolves, okay? But tying this into here if she's so depressed she can't see the good she's not balanced 
right? If she's so focused over here on all of this good stuff that she doesn't have probably, she can't see the gift that spirit universe ancestor or whatever is trying to give her because she's looking over here. All she sees is this, she's empty and what she wants. She's not balanced. Here, we've got a lot of like universal solar stuff. She needs to make sure she's balanced. I'm seeing her feet really solid on the ground. So I'm gonna say she's balanced. So this is kind of the justice thing too. But what about you? Are you balanced? Are you connected? Are you able to understand both negative and positive and be okay with both of them? You don't have to live in the negative, but you have to feel it and express it. Otherwise you're repressing and bypassing and that shit's gonna cause much more of this, all right? So you guys just got a little bit of a spiritual lesson also in here, a little bit more shadow work. I'm saying August is the month of shadow work. Okay, so let's close up. If you like the reading, let me know. Tell me what was going on last week. Tell me how the reading helped you last week. Tell me how this reading is gonna help you into this week. What you expect this reading to help you with next this week. Share, comment of course, share with other friends, subscribe if you want to so that way you know what's coming anytime I post a new video, okay? And feed both wolves. Be connected. When's the last time you danced? When's the last time you sang? When's the last time you heartily from your stomach laughed and cackled and people turned around and smiled because your laughter was contagious? When was the last time? Bye.